Good morning to you. This is Mark Suddeth, and here's what's happening in the tropics for Saturday, June the 4th, 2022. Keeping an eye on and still tracking potential tropical cyclone 1. No, it never made it to depression or storm status, but again, those are just labels that we give to these systems when they reach a certain technical textbook threshold, and this one has not done so yet, but the impact's pretty much the same. We had some gusty winds from time to time, some coastal flooding, but a lot of heavy rain. That part, that impact, definitely came to fruition. Now the system is going to move across Florida. A lot of the weather is already east of Florida, and as such, tropical storm warnings are still in effect for the southeast coast of Florida and the northwest Bahamas. PTC-1 will move out into the Atlantic, might become a tropical storm. We'll have to see. Those upper-level winds are really strong, and that is typical for this time of year. All right, the key messages there, you see them, just a couple of them left, starting to whittle those away just a little bit. The heavy rainfall continues to be the number one problem, and tropical storm conditions expected in the warning area. Some of that onshore flow, 39, 40, 45 mile per hour wind, something like that, not out of the realm of possibility, though this system is still pretty disorganized, so wind is not going to be a big problem. The big problem is going to uh, remain rainfall, and you know, I've talked about it yesterday, um, driving around in that can be difficult, so just be careful out there. Look at this very nice 50-frame radar loop from uh, Dr. Mark Nissenbaum over at Florida State University. You can see some rotation in there, just a general turning of the system, uh, more like an extra tropical nor'easter. It's kind of what it looks like, even though it is down in the tropics there. A lot of copious amounts of moisture, uh, heavy rain moving across southeast Florida, but everything's going to move offshore, and tomorrow, Sunday, is actually going to be very nice. Uh, still a lot of standing water around for sure, um, but uh, yeah, it's going to clear out and be a lot nicer as we get into the second part of the weekend. Satellite animation here, courtesy of weathernerds.org. Look at those little yellow speckles in there. That is lightning. So there are some thunderstorms associated with PTC-1, but you know, from basically west of the population centers from West Palm Beach south into the Keys, west and north of there, just low clouds, a lot of humidity, and things are going to start to clear out even as soon as later today as this moves on out into the Atlantic. Looking at the latest GFS, this is just now starting to come in. And look at that vorticity. It's all kind of stretched out there, an oval shape, nothing really bundled and focused. Lots of different centers of energy or vorticity, as we call it. And I'm kind of skeptical as to whether or not this ever gets a name, a depression or a name storm. It's, things have changed in the model guidance. The upper level winds are still too strong. And again, I go back to climatology. That is what is expected to happen this time of year. All right, and we'll go over that and much more in my Hurricane Outlook and discussion later this afternoon. For now, that is it for What's Up in the Tropics. I'm Mark Suddeth. Thanks for watching.